Creating custom fields. If you find that you need to set up information for one of your lists where there is no corresponding field, you can assign a custom field to fit that role. For example, you like sending your customers a greeting card every year on their birthday. You can establish a custom field that will track their birthday information. You must be logged on as the admin user. Go to Company Menu and select Custom Fields. In the drop-down list, marked Custom Field Type, you need to select from the list for which you desire to specify a custom field. Click Add and a new Custom Field Editor will open. Field represents the actual name of the field in the database. Caption represents the name of the custom field that the user will see when entering the data. In this example, our type of field is Date. You can access the custom field now from the Customer Editors and from the toolbar click Custom Fields. If you have the same custom field in QuickBooks, simply click the Map to QuickBooks Custom Field checkbox. The caption field will turn into a drop-down list box, allowing you to select from the different custom fields that have been set up in QuickBooks. Type is the type of custom field which in the previous case we used date. You can also select text. You can select the length of the field as well. Date, ID, cost, yes, no. I created a custom field for the sales order screen, cancel back order, using the type yes, no. In the sales order screen, uncheck for no and check the box for yes. There's also quantity, pick list, price, and amount. If you select Pick List, you will be able to create a custom drop-down with predefined selections. To add a selection, type the value of the selection, then click Add. Repeat until the entire list is finished. Again, go to your Customer screen, open the Custom Fields, and complete all of your new custom fields. If the custom field relates to a line item, for example, a sales order item, then you access the custom fields by clicking the Detail Triangle, then selecting Custom Fields. In the Design Custom Fields screen, choose Sales Order Items and Add. Create a caption and choose your type. I'm choosing Job Number and Pick List. I add my values and save. I want to add the same job number and pick list to my ship dock line items, so I'll find the ship dock items. All orders will automatically copy custom fields between records when the custom fields have the same name and type. So let's save the custom field and go back to the sales order. Under Details, Custom Fields, we'll select the second job number. Save and close. Fill the sales order and create a new ship dock. Go to Details, Custom Fields, and your new job number has transferred over to your ship dock line item. Custom fields created from the item can be copied to the sales order item, work order, work order components, purchase order item, receive items item, and ship dock item. From the customer screen, custom fields can be copied to the sales order and the ship dock. The vendor custom field can be copied to the purchase order and receive items. From the sales order to the ship dock, from the purchase order, copy to receive items. Custom fields from the sales order item are copied to the ship dock item and the purchase order item only if it's a linked transaction. And the custom field from the purchase order item can be copied to receive items item. 
Back at the ship dock item custom field, we'll save and close, and we'll print a pick ticket report. On the Modify Design tab, click the icon for Field List. The field we used is Ship Dock Item Custom Field 1. Select the field and drag it onto your report. Review the video customizing forms to make the report your own.